ladies and gentlemen today we're gonna go on an on a tour of the genocide in Namibia and we're gonna go around so the town of Sogomun and we're gonna explore uh, some of the historical sites and some of the history untold history and uh, some of the history that's not in the history books we're gonna be told by my brother here him he will quickly just introduce himself before we go anywhere further. Yeah, my name is Lake Loperingana. I'm an activist as, as well as the founder of the Swakopmund Genocide Museum. Um, so we actually decided to open this museum just to tell the history of Swakopmund and how the people used to live in the Swakopmund concentration camps. Mm -hmm. Right. On that note, let's go. Okay, we are here at the... Where are we now? Okay, as a student, you can just take me through yeah. this uh, historic site in Sogomund. We are at the Marine Dengmao. Uh, this statue is commemorating um, the genocide. So it was put on the 26th of July 1908, um, just a few months after the closing of the Sogomund concentration camps. And uh, as you can see for yourself, you know, there's the names of the villages where the German colonial soldiers went to commit genocide. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the date, the month, and the year. Oh, I so, see here, Cross Barman, yeah. uh, she... Oh, she ah, so, this is, a, I would say, it's a confession from Germany that, that ah. they committed a genocide against our people. Okay. And then, um, we uh, objected uh, this statue to be removed because, you know, it is glorifying, you know, colonialism. And then it, it was the face with red, red paint, uh, which signifying the blood of blood. our blood of our ancestors. So even even this rifle mm. is pointing directly to the thousands of unmarked graves. Okay, so the rifle is pointing yeah. directly to the area where the graves are? It, yeah, so it was put in such a way that it's also telling a story. Okay. So... Uh, so this is a celebration of what happened. Yeah, uh, uh, the genocide, mm. and um, and on, on on this side, there's the names of the German soldiers. Okay. The, this is the names of the German colonial soldiers. Oh. And this is their ranks, you know, military ranks and the two battleship. Okay. So you even hear, you know, outstanding herero. It means rebellious hereros. You know that they, they, they took part to exterminate these people. So, so apparently this statue is a national monument and we cannot have a, a monument of this kind, you know, in 2023. Mm. Uh, it is, it is one-sided history and we feel that it must be removed and put in a museum. Mm. But is it perhaps not preserved for the knowledge that it carries? No, but the thing is, you know, German community always commemorating here. I mean, that is an insult. I mean, uh. How, do you, how can you come and commemorate in front of a statue, which is even even mentioning the dates and the month mm. and the year where the people were committed, uh, uh, the genocide were committed. So it must be in a museum and anyone want to go and view the statue can pay and go in a museum, but it must not be in a public domain. Okay. Okay. I get you. Yeah. All right. Uh, there's, a, there's a building here at the back. Mm. Is, uh, was this, uh, can you tell me more about that building? So this was a state house. Now it is a state house. Now it is a state house where the presidents, you know, during holidays they come and sleep. But you know, it was a very important building during the colonial uh, regime. Mm. So the administration offices were here. Okay. And behind the the lighthouse, uh, there was a concentration camp also. Okay. Yeah, we behind do, the louder. Yeah. We do have even pictures of people in a concentration camps, you know. So there was a physical concentration yeah. camp yeah. There, yeah. right there. Yeah, there was behind this building. building. Yeah. yeah, and also at the which is now the casino, it was a pan hall. Oh, okay. okay, yes. And when they were even restoring, the, they found some human remains there. Is it? And those people were building the railway from here. 
uh, inland. And even the Burman was having a private concentration camp also. Okay. So, so what was happening at these concentration camps? Uh, at these concentration camps, you know, um, like men and women were forced to work. And uh, even... Is it now the workers for the... Uh, the railway. The railway. Stuff. Some of them were even working at the jetty. Uh, the, the men were taking off the goods from the ships, and then the women were pulling uh, the the railway carts. I, I do have some photographs at the museum, uh, which, which we'll check out. Yeah. So um, so between 1904 and 1908, you know, a lot of uh, prisoners of war were brought from inland here to do some heavy work. Mm -hmm. And so when you turn seven years old and above, you were forced to work here in Sokomon and. They were putting some chains around your neck and so on. So mm. from seven years, from seven years old, you know, you were forced to walk. So if you if you don't want to walk, they kill you, and then they cut your head. And some of the those scouts were taken to um, to Germany. Okay. Now also recently we found out that, that in the USA, some of our people's human remains were taken to the American Museum. To the American from from Swakopmund here. I see. So uh, so uh, it's. Mm. Are those part of the skulls that are now being repatriated? Repatriated, so? yeah. Okay. So this is very interesting and, and even, very important history. Man. And even here, even some of the family members were even forced to take peel off the skin of, from the skull and boil them. Sure. So uh, a lot of our people have indirect transgeneration trauma because of what mm -hmm. really happened in here. Mm -hmm. You know, like even last year, there was a Kushka carnival, a German carnival, where they were wearing. Uh, I mean, they were having a rope and a gallop. So a few years, uh, um, like 16 or 19 years ago, there was a tree in, in, in the city center which was having also a rope where the people used to be hanged. That tree where was they dated during the time of the concentration camps. Sure. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, these are interesting events, and definitely worth sharing. Mm -hmm. These are stories that should be told. Okay, now, uh, so this is an area where uh, a lot of, I see some cultural stuff also there at the back. So this is an area where culture is also celebrated or it's yeah. just for marketing purposes. Um, yeah, they are selling some handcrafts and it's a, it's a very, it's a, it's a big tourist yeah. attraction, you know. You can see some Himba ladies and Hero and other people selling crafts and so on. Okay. So. okay. No, great. Great, great, great. No, I've got it. I've got it. I think we can go to the next yeah. next side. Or is there anything else that you wanna no. Okay, please school me on this uh sighting here. So actually this memorial, you know, it is called uh celebrating commemorating the the first and second world war. Mm -hmm. Like uh, before independence, you know, they used to put like Nazi flag here on, on, on this pole. And, uh, on this pole, there was a Nazi flag. Nazi flag and a Nazi, uh, uh, no, a, a military uh, flag for, for for German. Okay, and, and a German military yeah. flag. Yeah. So even if you see even the date, it's during really the Nazi era. I see. So even when the Nazi regime fell of Hitler, a lot of you know Nazi sympathizers also came to Swakopmund. Okay. Yeah. So. Mm. So this basically symbolizes the wars. Yeah. The first and the second, the second world war. Second world war, yeah. Okay. 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 No, this is, this so is I, don't understand, I, don't, I don't understand why this such a, a monument is here in, 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 in Africa. You no. Know, mm. It doesn't it doesn't really concern us. It's, it's it was it was a racist war in Europe that was you no know, Committed by the Nazis and so on, but you know, they are so it doesn't hold that much relevance to us. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Thank you. So we'll go to the Bismarck uh, Medical Center. To the Bismarck Medical yeah. Center. Okay. There's also a historical story there. Yeah. All right. No, great.
is in the U.S. Imperial, the one who, who, who sent a controller to come and exterminate, exterminate uh, the Naman hero. Uh -huh. But during the genocide, there's more Tamaras that were killed than Namans. It's just because there were no extermination order. Wait. You are saying there's more Damaras that were killed yeah, during the genocide than because, Namas. Because during that time, you know, Damaras used to wear almost like Hereros, you know, uh -huh. animal skins, and so they couldn't extinguish, you know, uh -huh. so they were even living in prox uh, proximity, you know. Uh -huh. Okay, so we're gonna park over here. Yeah. Okay, Bismarck, we were talking. Yeah, Otto von Bismarck was the first German imperial uh, chancellor. Otto von Bismarck was the first German chancellor who organized the Berlin Conference of 1884-85 uh, to divide the African Communion. And really, we are very shocked that this image is still being displayed here uh, in front of the uh, Bismarck Medical Center. If it was not for these gentlemen, you know, the African colonial wouldn't have been colonized, but you know, you can see, you know, these people are still commemorating colonizers that brought a lot of pain to a lot of African people on this continent. So, so he was the main organizer of the Berlin Conference? Yes, sir. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, I just need to have, uh, make a disclaimer here. This has got nothing to do with the Bismarck Medical Center and the operations currently there. So this is purely a historical episode that goes about the history, history of Sokobun, the history of the genocide. And that's why the image happens to be there now in that position. That's why we are taking this footage right here to cover the image. But we want to clear the air. This has got nothing to do with what's, with what's currently happening at the Bismarck Medical Center. Sure. Okay, I think it does. History. Yeah. Uh, even, even when you see even that uh, Adler uh, apothec, which is a uh, pharmacy, you know, the emblem is, is, is uh, Yeah, you can see that emblem is an imperial uh, emblem that used to be on, on their documents and other oh. colonial flags. Uh, you can see even the Swakop Mundus Germans, they are still living like 120 years backwards. They are still preserving their, their history. They are very proud of their, their history. Mm. I see. You find similar looking buildings mm. in this town. Um, more or less, I was watching a video on YouTube the other day. Somebody was saying this town resembles Europe. Yeah, it's it resembles. It looks, it looks very much like. That's a why European they always town. say Sokopmon is small Germany. You know, it's small Germany. Yeah, it's. You can see oh, okay. even the architectures, how the building looks like. Mm. Some of them. So it was just maintained. Yeah. The way. Oh, oh, but now some of the buildings have been demolished, and now they are building modern buildings in Sokopmon. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, shall we both go to the next? Yeah. Set? Okay. Where will that? Mm, the cemetery. Oh, to the cemetery. Mm. Okay. Uh, first, we are going to pass by um, the Astad restaurant. Astad restaurant. Yeah. All right. And we we'll go to the cemetery like this. Okay. okay. No, sure. Thanks.
Okay, so you gave us stones there at the at the entrance now. Mm -hmm. Okay, that means that means what? No, normally you know when people come here, it's just they just place some stone just to pay some respect, to you know, pay homage. Homage, yeah. Oh, okay, so, okay, okay. All right. Okay, so we are now here. This is now for the Sogobundes behind Kramersdorp, right? Eh? Yeah, Kramersdorp. Here bordering the dunes here. Beautiful area. And we are now here at the Genocide graves. Yeah. Am I right? Mm. Okay, please. So uh, this is a Sokopmon um, graveyard of the prisoners of war. Prisoners of war. Yeah. So they were between 1904 and 1908. So they were brought inland, and they were like doing heavy labor work here in Sokopmon. So if you, if you know this small heap of sand, mm. up to that wall, you know, it's thousands and thousands of unmarked graves. Is it? So. Uh, so these are actual graves. These, yeah. yeah. They are actual graves of prisoners of war, mm. and uh, like uh, three years ago when we were restoring on the other side, you know, some of the, the skeletons that came out of the ground. Is it? We, yeah. So it was quite shallow grave. It's, no, it's, all these graves are shallow, you know. Oh. So, uh, so okay. they were actually like two street, and then the houses encroach um, inside, of, and then there was uh, another lady, a German old lady, that said, you know, that wall must be put around the boundary wall, which is going to protect uh, the grave. Uh, before that, you know, um, uh, squad bikes and off-road vehicles used to drive over the, the graves, and most of them were uh, destroyed. Is it? That's why they decided to build a boundary wall to protect the, the oh, graves. Oh, so that wall actually uh, protects yeah. the graves. No. So see. even the UNESCO team also said that, you know, this, this place must be protected because it's one of the biggest mass graves. Uh, in the southern Africa, dated the colonial time. You now, as you can see for yourself, you know this one is well maintained. Mm -hmm. There's people that are, that are employed there, but you know this one is totally ne neglected. Oh, so okay. four times per year, we are having a team. We, okay. we, we we are always restoring the graves. Okay. So we raise money through tours and so on, and then some of the money we use it for uh, the restoration of the oh, graves. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Is there an organization that does that? Yeah, the oh, it's your organization. Yeah, my organizations and oh. some other activists and other. Oh, you know. okay. So now there's also some young Germans that are staying in Sokobun that, that came on board of okay. us, you know, so that we can restore Helping. the graves. Yeah, oh, because right. it's also part of their history and yeah. sure. and also our history. So I think that's a commendable. Yeah, from from them. So now okay. next time also there will be some um, student from Germany, like exchange exchange program. They will come and then they will start to work with us so that we can also maintain the, the site together you know so that we can learn about the history of the journalists because some of them also up, up to now some of them don't know it's the, they don't know about the that history yeah so we were we are trying by all means you know to like you know because i'm also planning to retire so i want some young young group the generations to take over for me to, to maintain this uh, i see this, uh, yeah. i see i see okay so there was also another uh, memorial and then we objected because the other one the inscription was like uh, that people perish under mysterious circumstances and then we objected it and then they went to revise in, in 2020. Oh. So this is one is a new one. Okay yeah. so this is a revised Yeah it's uh, a revised script. script. Yeah it's a revised script yeah basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm. okay so these graves are now the Nama of and the over here yeah. and the Damaras yeah. that were killed uh -huh. by and large. Oh, okay. Are those the only tribes that were affected by the uh, genocide? There was also some few Bushmen, uh, the Sanpi community. I think there were like 30 that were brought here. Uh -huh. So, yeah, but during the genocide, mostly it was the Baharoro, Nama, Damaras and some few Sun people. Okay. So, uh, the reason why the Namas and Heroi have a, a, um, they are asking reparation is because the, 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 it was in, in it was translated in the extermination oh. altar. Oh. So um, so that documents they are using it to you know, file uh, Extermin extermination order uh, to somebody that's sitting in Spain. 
mm-hmm. and uh, here's that word now. What 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 exactly is no, uh, that extermination order was issued that no, they have to kill the indigenous people, you know, the German colonial soldiers. So they were they, they got the authorizations from Germany. You know, okay. So it was the authorization. Yeah, yeah. that's to, the extermination uh, to, order. To, yeah, to you know, kill them all, whether you are young, old, you know. So the idea was to kill any indigenous person. Indigenous, yeah, so that they can come and take back the land. Because a lot of the indigenous people were against uh, the grabbing of the land. There was war resistance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was also a guy called Rehab. Yeah. Yeah. So he was uh, also, he also tried to uh, fight some of the people. But they did not get the fire. But the history is also not very popular. So Ahab was also a significant figure. He was a significant figure, and I think we have to get maybe a statue of him on the side of the Yeah. So it's, it's very shocking that you know the, the municipality doesn't want to maintain this site. And there's a Sokomon similar regulation which obligates the municipality to maintain this site. Okay. But they are refusing it. So uh, with our team, we are always, you know, doing what you can. Yeah, to doing to voluntary and so on. Yeah. I see. I see. And also, we want this site to be declared as a, a, as a national monument or maybe a, a world heritage site. Okay. Because it needs to be preserved for the German generation, a future generation to know about the past, what happened. Yeah. Because if you learn from the past, you know, then it will not repeat again. Absolutely. So we need to educate. Absolutely. Yeah. And also, not just educate, but to correct yeah. the history. You see, because there's a lot of uh, misconception, there's a lot of uh, mass education mm. and, uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of stuff that has been turned around mm-hmm. to suit certain so narratives the, and stuff. Yeah. So actually, it's it's it, it's a it's a good time to tell our version mm. of the history, you know, and to hand that down mm. to the next generation. Because I asked you earlier, are these things recorded in the history text? And when these things are missing, some of these important things are missing in the history textbooks, then one wonders as to uh, the integrity of the whole education mm. regarding the history. Mm. But in any case, thank you so much, man. Yeah. That's a lot of information from, from this side. And perhaps you can take us to the next side yeah. if we go to the, the museum. All right. yeah. Sure. This is the Sogomund Genocide Museum. Fortunate to be here. This is a place where some of the historical artifacts and the historical pictures and a lot of information gathered right here, which we're gonna dive into very, very soon. And uh, yeah, no, without wasting time, let me hand over to my man. Teach me, boss, teach me. I'm a learner here. I came here to study the genocide history mm-hmm. from your point of view everything you got mm-hmm. tell, tell me i'm a novice i don't know anything yeah we we started this museum um because you know the one in town doesn't tell the story uh, uh, what really happened here uh, so it's a Solomon genocide museum uh-huh. and um we are doing online lectures we're doing historical tours uh-huh. So you're also doing online lectures? Yeah, online lectures at uh, different uh, universities. And, and so the, but the, now the interest is it's quite high. You can see this one is from Frankfurt University. From Frankfurt yeah. University. So I, I first started in a Diashi Informal Settlement. Mm-hmm. And this one is uh, professors from different universities in, in the USA. They came at my place. Mm-hmm. And then we uh, signed some agreements to how foreign students can come here and mm-hmm. uh, do lectures or tours. and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so this picture was taken in Swakopmund. Okay. You can see the dunes is in the background. It's just because it's black and white. Okay. And the prisoners of war are in chain. Okay. And um, is that the area that we were? Yeah, it's the area that we went. Oh. And, uh, 
shallow grave and another prisoners of war is, is buried. They will be buried. I see. So um, uh, this one is the, the, the Nama that were taken to uh, Cameroon. To Cameroon. Yeah. So, so Namas were actually taken to Cameroon. Yeah, they were taken to ta Cameroon and uh, some of the heroes were taken to uh, Toko because Cameroon and Toko used to be uh, former German colonies. So uh, they were taken with that uh, woman linen, the, the one I was showing you. The yes, yes, yes. And, um, mm. So there could be some Nama descendants currently in Cameroon. Yeah, there's another guy told me that there's some of the descendants in our survivors. So, but ah. uh, we wanted to go there to do some research and stuff because there was COVID and lockdown and so on, but we are planning to go there. Mm. And, uh, to Cameroon, there is. Yeah. Mm. So this side was the, the vicinity of uh, Burman. Hmm. They were having a private concentration camp. Okay. And um, the picture that I was talking about is, uh, you know, the women were pulling uh, the railway carts. Okay. You can see the tracks here. Yes. It's yes, uh, yes. from the jetty. From, from the, the jetty, jetty side, that yes. side, you know, there was a railway going mm. to the jetty. Mm. When they offload loads of stuff from the boat, you know, women were forced to pull, you know. Mm. So it was in Swamp of Mumu. Oh, all right, so, all right. Can you please tell me something about this picture here? Yeah, this uh, this picture is uh, um, prisoners. You can see some of them are very young. They are having chains around their neck, uh -huh. and um, some of this this bronze plate, these plates were made by Otto Gunde. Uh, you know, the, they were made by Otto Gunde. Otto Gunde were making. Uh, I think I have it somewhere. Else. So Otto Gunde was making this this. This text around the night. Mm. So. This is some serious yeah. historic information you've got here, bro. And um, also recently, also we we found out that that in the USA there's um, scouts of Nama, Herero, Bushmen, and uh, in the US. Yeah, in the US. Um, just when we, and so we are also busy now. Um, we even uh, had a meeting with the. The mayor of, uh, of, of New York, and um, they are basically trying to find a way so that those human remains must be repatriated back to, to Africa. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so I'm just going to show you now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, these human remains are in the USA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are in the USA. Uh, see all these human remains. All those remains. are yeah. in the USA. Yeah, in the USA. They had the American Museum in, uh, what is it? Yeah, these ones. Okay. So we These are on your Facebook page? Yeah, yeah, from the museum, yeah. Oh. I can even send you maybe via email. Oh, you can see, see that image was taken in Swap of Moon. This one? Was no, the one for the uh, for okay. soldiers picking the skulls. Oh, here. Yeah. 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 So oh, that right. one it was making a postcard, but there was also an original photograph. Uh -huh. So that's how they were transporting human remains here in Swap of Moon and taking uh -huh. it to Germany. And these skulls are the one that came back. Um, this one? Yeah, mm. from Germany. So a lot of people that were buried here in the mass grave, some of them were, they, they didn't have like skulls, they were taken to uh, Germany. Mm, this is a picture of the site where we were. Yeah. In town. So on top of that, there, it's our team. We're always restoring the graves for, for times per year. Oh, this is the team that yeah. does the work there mm -hmm. at the grave site. Yeah. Oh, so, um, team of volunteers. Mm. So here, um, I'm on top of the marine dam now. I'm protesting and I'm covering the whole uh, statue. Okay. And, um, oh, that's you at the back there. Yeah, it's me. And here we throw red paint. You can yeah. see the thing here. Mm. So here we protest. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. You know, in memory of thousands of people and Valero who perished under mysterious circumstances. So actually, we objected these mysterious circumstances, and then they went to revise it. So it was changed. Yeah. After you objected it. Yeah. Then they put this one. I see. So uh, this year, around October, there's this uh, forensic architectures. They will they will come here to Stockholm, uh -huh. and then we are going to uh, to scan these mass graves uh -huh. just to get a, how many people were buried in single graves and mm -hmm. mass grave. So it's a forensic. Uh, is it? It's an organization based in India. Uh -huh. Yeah, so they would bring sophisticated machines that can detect human bones under the ground. Mm. Because there's a lot of uh, denialists here in Swakopun who are saying, no, there were no concentration camps. So oh. we want to get like scientific proof from mm. um, credible institutions that will. Yes, yes. So yes, then, yes, then we are yes. going to present that facts, you know. 
I get you. And then maybe the, the findings, if anyone wants to do a research, they will mm. come and get it here. And then if you want mm. to, then you have to pay some small, small fee to, mm. to produce mm. those. Mm. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So this artifact, you know, it came from uh, Switzerland. Mm. Uh, if you see here. Uh, from Switzerland? Yeah. So they donated it um, to us. Okay. So it was taken a um, long time ago. And it's called a Kori. It's called a Kori. A Kori, yeah. Okay. So it's a very wow. special artifact, you know. Wow. Wow. What is it made of? It's from, made from goat skin and uh, sometimes they are making from uh, a sheep skin. Ah, so yeah. this is skin. This is. Mm. I see. So this is a very old piece of. Is it? Do you call it artwork? Is it a decorative thing? Uh, is it? Yeah, because the way they use it as a, for decorative purposes, and mm. but it is very special. It, it, women used to wear on special occasions. Mm. Yeah. Uh, see, this one was taken between nineteen oh four around there. So the original Herreros, you know, they used mm. to wear like this, you know. You can see these three points. I see. And then, then they were modernized. Then they started to wear uh, chikaiwa. Okay. Yeah. So okay. this is actually my mom. Okay. Yeah. So, so before this, yeah. all women yeah. used to wear yeah. a kori. Yeah, used to wear a kori. I see. And but uh, what does it basically symbolize? Those those three. Can you please tell me? Um, okay. Actually, I don't. I don't have very much information about. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But I think it means something. It uh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. So. Mm. Okay. 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 No. So. So, um, so these ones are. It's it's inland. You can see a lot of skulls. You know. It's That's just, in the UK. No, it's inland. In oh, inland. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, I believe maybe it was during the genocide, you know, mm. it's just because we blew up the picture, you, you, you know, all this is all skulls, you know, human, Yo. you know, you can see, you know, how they were killing our people and, mm. and some of the German soldiers mm. were taking those, you know, skulls to different museums in Germany and mm. other parts of, mm. around other parts of the world. And yes. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Anything about that picture there? Yeah, this picture is in, in, in Swakopmund. You can see, you know, it's, it's basically the road workers. Mm. They are having chains around their neck, and but they, they roll in German. All right. Yeah. So, you know, seeing human, you know, you seeing human being in chains, like treated like dogs, you know, it's, it's very shocking, you know. That's why I have yeah. saying that, uh, you know, even that image of Otto von Bismarck is making me very angry. Okay. Which is still, you know, in 2023, you still see the very same person that organized the Berlin conference to, to mm. divide the African continent, mm. whereby, you know, a lot of, you know, Africans were um, killed and lost their lands and mm. properties. And mm. So, I will see. Okay. Yeah, no. Man, I think uh, this has been a very informative educational tour mm. and i really appreciate all the information that you've shared the artifacts that you've showed the obviously as part of your evidence as mm. to what you're saying and uh, we've been around i really appreciate your time mm. i really appreciate that you are a busy man and uh, but you took the time to go with mm. me through this so the risk, this, mm. rifle, this rifle was um, used during the genocide. It was used during the genocide. Yeah. So this, even if we see this rifle and this one, they look the same. You know, it's the same model. I see. So in the olden days, you know, they used to put like gunpowder and use these metal rods. Uh -huh. uh, and then, then they put a bullet. Uh -huh. So here there was a bayonet. It's uh -huh. a, like a spear. Well, sometimes they, they used to step prisoners, yes, yes, you know. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, So. Aha. Yo. Yo. Still, you know. So this still. isn't, th 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 this was physically used. It was physically used, you know. Like in the genocide. In, yeah, in the genocide, war. yeah. Okay. 
No, you definitely are doing very, very important work. Mm. It's very interesting stuff. So this one is the same memorial. Mm. We are just making miniatures and so on. Then we are selling them to the tourists and anyone. Oh, it's just for... I see. Yeah. I see. And then some of the money that we are getting, we, we use it for restoring the grave. Yes, because we are not yes, yes. funded by the government or, yes. you know, we are just raising money ourselves to do uh, volunteerism, you know. So, uh, mm -hmm. it's a way of also making some small bucks, you know. I see, I see. Mm. Now I completely understand. All right. And uh, this picture, was it at an event? That yeah, uh, um, the Namibian Special Envoy and the German Special Envoy, uh, mm -hmm. Rubens and uh, Dr. Selka, they were here, mm -hmm. for the German ambassador. Mm -hmm. and, Taka, and then we were protesting in front of the, them, you know, of what Germany did to to our people. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, oh, yeah. it was a Naman Hero uh, activist, you know, protesting in front of the Marine Dema because he, mm -hmm. she claims because even the German uh, government they wrote us an official letter. They said they don't know how this statue came. Is it? Yeah. And then, like after two, two or three weeks, mm -hmm. the same person, the German, uh, German ambassador, and uh, some G German delegate. They came there, that statue. Mm -hmm. So, what is on that statue is, is a confession by Germany that they, they committed a genocide you know, mm -hmm. against our people. Mm -hmm. And they need to ask apology. Mm -hmm. They must come to our people and ask an apology what they did to us. Mm -hmm. You mentioned something very important as we were driving in the car mm -hmm. that. Uh, more Damaras actually died than mm -hmm. Namas yeah. in the genocide. Yeah. During the genocide, you know, more than 30,000 uh, 30, Damaras they died, but it's, not, it's something that is not documented. Mm -hmm. But there were more Damaras because the Damaras and Herod used to be in the same mm -hmm. area and the Germans couldn't distinguish mm -hmm. because also they were wearing animal skins and yeah. so on. Like, uh, yeah. Days. So it's just because, you know, uh, there was an extermination order against the Nama and, mm -hmm. and but even mm. the, the Bushmen, the Sun people were also mm. also involved in the, they were also exterminated. Some of them were were hunted like animals. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, that's interesting, man. Mm. That's interesting. And uh, yeah, like I said, no, I can't thank you enough for everything that you've shared today. This definitely is very much educational. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we will share this, obviously, when it's out on social media, it's out to the world. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if there are any inquiries, we will just put your links and stuff mm -hmm. down in the descriptions mm -hmm. for everybody that wishes to find out more, that wants to perhaps do a documentary with you, mm -hmm. a bigger one, uh, or that wants to in any way work with you they will be able to reach you through the stuff that we put in the descriptions mm -hmm. down below and so on. Mm -hmm. No, on that note, mm -hmm. thank you so much, man. Okay. And yeah. this has been time well spent yeah. for me. Mm. Yeah. Perhaps from your side, any last word facing the camera mm -hmm. that you will say to anybody anywhere mm -hmm. in the world that will be watching this little documentary? Yeah, all I want to say is just, uh, just come and visit the museum and um, uh, learn more about the history of Swakopmon and then I will also be able to take you personally to the to the mass grave and see for yourself you know how thousands of people were killed you know yeah uh, some of the history that's not in the books pardon some of the history that's not in the yeah. books we can get from you <laughs> all right no thank you on that note to all my subscribers my viewers family thank you very much for having tuned in for this episode and uh, i hope you got something from this this has been very informative for me educational and as our channel is an emi channel educational motivational and inspirational so we trust that this episode was informational to you thank you